At the moment in Eurozone, we have uh, at the most of the tension, I'd say. Some big decision has to be made, and some of the sides are just um, putting their, their arguments first and, and defending their lines, but very quickly, because of market tensions, some resolution has to come. Uh, there's two key points at the moment, the Spanish and the Greece situation, and we are, time is running out. So eventually, some decision will be made, I'd say, by the end of the month. So those concerns are all very different. I think politically, Spanish situation is more stable, meaning that the government is stable, the opposition is, uh, you say, has common sense as well, and everybody's working for the common good of the country. Italy, for the moment, is stable. We have a great leader at the moment, but in 12 months' time, there's a question mark of who's going to be leading the country. And Greece, it's a chaos. I mean, the political uh, class has been, as you say, not helping themselves. And it's difficult to see them really fighting for their own country. Therefore, the situation in Greece is much more complicated. The focus right now is more on Spain and the banking sector. Spain has done a lot of reforms, done a lot of efforts. Still, there is one big problem, which is the lack of capital in the Spanish sector due to the housing crisis. And I think we have about time that the Spanish government recognized they would need external help. The external help should be coming from the EFSF, very probably, or DSM later. And uh, recently, we have uh, the IMF report uh, that should be out um, either this weekend or Monday. That will be a first step after that. If Spain raised their hand and asked for help, it would be quite fast for the EFSF to first assess the situation, assess how much capital is needed, and release it. Uh, the second step would be Greece on the uh, election on the 17th of June. Hopefully, uh, the extreme left will not have the majority, and we can find some kind of coalition between the, um, the two main parties. Uh, overall, um, it might be just an event as the situation might drag and drag and drag even after the election. Uh, even if the extreme left get uh, the, elect the, the majority, they would be able just to walk away from the also. No, because there's too much, there'll be too much damage done for one side or the other. From the weak side, if Greeks walk away from the Eurozone, they will enter into the unknown, deep recession, high inflation and disruption, I'd say, in the country. Um, and from the other side, if Germany wanted to get out of the Eurozone, they just cannot, in terms of target two and the un of the consequences. And I'd say, coming out of the Eurozone by the upside, there will be never a political courage uh, to do so.